In a film called Elixir of Love which takes place in China, we're going to talk about a princess who has a sickness that gives her a foul odor. Because of this, the princess was not allowed to leave the palace to avoid anyone from smelling her. A king and queen reside in a palace with their 15 sons. Despite the number of children they have, the king still wasn't happy as their children were all boys. The king has always wanted a princess, so he and his wife never stopped trying until the queen got pregnant once again. The queen labored, and she finally gave birth to a princess. When he learned about it, the king was overjoyed because he finally had the daughter he always wished for. That happiness was short-lived, as the king finds out that their daughter has a sickness called atypical reeking syndrome. The princess emits a very unpleasant smell that makes anyone who smells it pass out. So the king decided to take the princess to the house by the lake, where she was not allowed to leave no matter what. Years passed by, and the princess had grown up. It was time for her to look for a man to marry. Against his will, the king still accepted suitors for the princess, whom he'd been hiding from the public all her life. When the suitors arrived, they happily waited while the princess was taken care of by the servants. The servants made sure to bathe the princess really well and covered her body to hide the smell. The suitors lost their smiles and seemed to be doubting when they saw the princess hiding her whole body. The princess then had the urge to sneeze, which she did, causing her unpleasant smell to spread around, scaring the suitors away. The princess watched as the suitors left the palace, running away from her smell. She cried and immediately ran back to the house by the lake. This is Shum Mong Kai, an aromatherapist with a strong sense of smell. Kai has a bunch of plants in his house that he treats like friends. He uses his sense of smell and plants to create products that smell really good. One day, he noticed a group gathering around a poster pasted on the wall. He approached it and read the poster. He learned that the poster was about the princess. After the incident in the palace, the king summoned all the officials in the palace for a meeting. The master physician advised the king to let everyone know about the princess sickness, and create a challenge where whoever cures the princess bad case of odor, would get to marry the princess. The king agreed and sent out an announcement. Kai joined the competition for the princess hand. In the palace, the candidates were tasked with fixing the bad smell of a few objects. Kai used his plants to fix the smell of the objects. In the end, the other candidates lost. Only Kai and one other participant, called Dr. Sung, succeeded. The master physician advised the king to choose Dr. Sung as he came from a noble family. He ordered the guards to escort Kai out of the palace but the king decided to give Kai a chance. Later on, Kai is seen walking around the market, where he sees a girl carrying a huge fish. The girl is Hung, a fish seller. Hung accidentally stepped on a small fish and slipped before falling into Kai. They stood up and apologized to each other. Hung introduced herself to Kai, before introducing the other guys as well. These guys are big fish, small fish, and fishy. Kai then told them that he was looking for someone to experiment on so he could make a cure for the princess. The three fishermen willingly accepted Kai's request and went to the latter's house. In Kai's house, the three fishermen took a bath using the soap Kai had created for them. Afterward, Kai smelled the three of them to check if the soap worked, but it didn't, and he fainted. Disappointed, the fisherman left while Hung went back to Kai's house, telling him that she was willing to get experimented on for free. Kai accepted and used different methods to cure Hung's bad case of body odor, but all of them failed. One day, the two of them were walking around the market to buy the ingredients needed. Unbeknownst to Kai and Hung, someone had been following them. They then went back to Kai's house to continue the experiment for a new product. When they were done, Hung went to leave when it suddenly rained. Hung went back and Kai told her to stay the night. Later that night, as they were about to go to sleep, Kai talked to his plant and complimented it. Hung heard him and was flustered, thinking that Kai was talking to her. They then slept, and when the morning came, the two of them went to the woods to search for the ingredients they couldn't buy. Kai told Hung the legend about the forest. Afterward, Kai took his outer shirt off and asked Hung why she was still wearing the same clothes she was wearing the other day. Hung answered that it was because she wanted to be ready just in case Kai suddenly makes an experiment. Suddenly, rain started pouring down, and the two of them rushed to get under a tree, with Kai lifting the shirt he had taken off to cover them from the rain. Hung raised her arm to cover Kai's head when Kai smelled the stench coming from Hung. Hung was embarrassed and upset because of Kai's reaction and ran away. That night, Hung was in her home, 
crying and aggressively washing her body. Meanwhile, Kai went back home only to find his plants destroyed. When night came, Kai visited Hung at her house and saw her playing while wearing a beautiful flowy dress. He called out her name, and when Hung saw her, she got mad and told him to leave before closing the door on him. Having no one to talk to, Kai got drunk. A group of girls stopped in front of him. One girl wiped her sweat off, and her sweat hit Kai on the face. Kai smelled the sweat and seemed to have an epiphany. He thought of using sweat to make the perfect cure. He asked for some help from the fishermen and the women he used to help before and managed to save up enough sweat to use for his experiment. Kai finished the product when a masked man broke into his house and attempted to steal the perfume that he had made. Kai fought back for the perfume, but the guy hit Kai's face with it, breaking the perfume. Kai chased down the masked man until he saw him enter a house. He followed him inside and realized whose house it was when he saw Dr. Sung experimenting on a pig. Kai accused Dr. Sung of sabotaging him, and Dr. Sung denied the accusations. But when Kai left, we could see the blood on Dr. Song's hand. Back at Kai's home, Hung came to ask him what he was going to do if he failed the task given to him. Kai answered that he's not going to give up on making a cure for the princess no matter what. Hung started tearing up when she heard this, and her tear dropped on Kai's plant. Kai smelled something different but chose to ignore it. The next day, Kai finished making another perfume. He used it on big fish, small fish, and fishy. They were so happy when it finally worked. Hung then said that to know if the perfume works on women, they should use it on the master physician's wife, who has a problem releasing gas. Kai and the fisherman sneaked into the master physician's house and waited for the wife to use the restroom. When she finally appeared, Big Fish sprayed the perfume inside the restroom while the lady was still inside. Then they waited for the master physician's reaction. They watched as the wife released another gas, and the master physician didn't react to it. The group thought that the perfume worked, but when the wife passed by them, she let out another gas, and it smelled so bad. Kai realized that the master physician couldn't smell it. At Kai's home, Hung noticed that Kai's nose was bleeding because he had worked too much. Hung told him to stop, as she was worried for him. But Kai got angry and admitted to Hung that he wanted to marry the princess because it was the only way for aromatherapy to get accepted. But Hung was still worried, so she left with the perfume Kai made. Meanwhile, Dr. Song and the master physician were seen talking. Dr. Song and the master physician have been planning together since the beginning, so Dr. Song will be the one to marry the princess. Dr. Song was the one who broke the perfume on Kai's face. It was to destroy Kai's nose and sense of smell. Meanwhile, Kai is seen walking when he suddenly smells the scent of a flower. He followed where the scent was coming from and reached the forest where he saw an old couple burying a flower on the ground. He approached the old couple and asked why they were burying the flowers. The old man answers that, just like humans, flowers are also meant to be buried once they wither. Kai also asked what flower has the best smell, and the old man answered that the best flowers are white peonies during spring, white water lilies during summer, white hibiscus during autumn, and white plum blossom during winter. Kai shared this knowledge with Hong, and the two of them traveled together to look for the said seasonal flowers. During their journey, Kai and Hong got closer to each other. One day, Kai and Hong bumped into a group of thieves. They tried to run away, but the group managed to capture them. The thieves beat Kai up, but Hong managed to beat all of them using her killer smell. Once they were done with their journey, they went back to Kai's home. Because he was beaten up, Kai's body was in extreme pain, so Hung took care of him. Hung approached Kai, and the two of them held each other's hands. Suddenly, the thunder roared and Hung jumped into the bed beside Kai in surprise. The day after, Kai and Hung stood in the rain together. The day has come where the remaining contestants have to give the cure to the princess, and Kai is about to enter the palace. Before he entered the palace, Hung told him not to forget her once he got married to the princess. Kai began walking towards the palace when he suddenly turned back and went to Hung again. The two of them moved to kiss, but their umbrellas hindered them, so Kai decided to just continue walking away. Inside the palace, Dr. Sung was the first to give the cure he made for the princess. But Dr. Sung didn't make a cure, 
all he did was take away the princess sense of smell before telling everyone that in order to not smell the princess, taking away one sense of smell is the solution. Enraged, the king kicked Dr. Sung out of the palace. Then it was Kai's turn. Kai showed everyone the cure he made. He named this cure the cold fragrance pill. He explained the cure to everyone. Kai used the four seasonal flowers as the cure's ingredients. The qualities of the peony, water lily, hibiscus, and plum blossom were mixed together in one pill. This cure will clean the toxin inside the princess body which will help take away the princess foul odor permanently. The master physician butted in and stated that there is no basis for aromatherapy. Kai challenged the physician and revealed that the master physician's sense of smell had been destroyed, which disappointed the king. Then one of the servants gave the princess the pill and the princess took it. Seconds later, the servant announced that the princess didn't have a foul odor anymore. Everyone in the palace celebrated, but just as when the princess stood in the middle of everyone, a stench spread around the whole room. Everyone realized that the foul smell was coming from the princess. The king got angry and the princess cried. When Kai saw the princess crying, he suddenly remembered what happened to his plant, which used to have a bad scent too. Because of Hyung's teardrop, that plant's bad scent disappeared. So Kai asked for one more chance and requested to get some of Hong's tears. Kai made Hong cry, and the latter shared how she lived his life with such a stinky scent. Everyone avoided her like a plague, which made Hong want to take her own life. But Hong got swept towards the fish market, and that's where she met big fish, small fish, and fishy. Since then, she started going to the market because that place made her comfortable with her own scent. The next day, Kai went to the palace again and he bumped into the master physician and his wife. Kai asked the master physician why he didn't get his sense of smell fixed, but the master physician didn't answer. He was just looking at his wife with a smile on his face. Kai didn't need an answer anymore to know why, because it was clear that the answer was the master physician's love for his wife. Kai seemed to have an epiphany because of this, and he searched for Hong in the festiva. When he found her, he told Hong that he chooses to be with Hong and not the princess. Hong was ecstatic to hear Kai's confession. Kai gave the cure to Hong, and when the latter took it, her foul smell was finally cured. When Kai was brought to the palace, he asked for the king's forgiveness and accepted whatever punishment he knew he was going to receive. But before he faces his punishment, he requested to speak with the princess so he could personally apologize to her. That's when Kai discovered that the princess is none other than Hong. The king then announced their marriage to the whole kingdom. Kai and Hong saw big fish, small fish, and fishy and told them to go to the palace, where they all celebrated. Subscribe for more videos like this and request a movie for our next video.